So we are back on NBA Infinite and as you can see the beta is continuing on until August the 13th which is looking very good. I don't know when it was initially set to close down but it looks like it has been extended. So we're going to be going ahead this time. I have got a couple of packs to open but we'll be focusing on a full Lakers lineup gameplay. We've got three Lakers players which are the only ones in the game at the moment. As you can see we've got Anthony Davis, LeBron James and then all the way down over here we have got an 84 overall D'Angelo Russell, who is rank six out of seven. So he's almost fully maxed out. I don't think there are enough players on the market to be able to go ahead and completely max him out, unfortunately, but he is still very good nonetheless. But we've got a couple of decent packs to open, including this Superstars player pack, which will open up at the very end. We'll start off a little bit lighter and we'll sort of work our way up bit by bit. But let's go ahead and open this Active Stars pack. It's a 100 gem discount on this one, which I've noticed and you can buy it every single day. But let's see who we can get. We get an animation on the first pack, which is looking very good. Is it going to be Harden or Joel Embiid? It's looking like it's from the 76ers. I think just by the glimpse at the bid. Yep, it is definitely that James Harden over there, which is very good because I think we can then go ahead and upgrade him a little bit further, which is looking very good. But that's a very nice pull on the first pack of the video. We're getting a bit lucky here. Hopefully the luck can continue. But let's go on and open some of these packs. I've saved up a lot of my stars over here so we can go ahead and you know what we've got enough points we should be able to open a popular player pack forward pack center pack and a guard pack to see exactly what we can do the majority of packs i have been opening are these basic activity packs just to build up on gold diamonds and then sometimes you get a player as well but the players aren't absolutely amazing whereas these ones hopefully are going to be a lot better you get a random rare or epic player so let's see who we can get out of these packs the first one's not going to be that animation and it is just going to be a 71 rated green over there Let's open a forward pack. Who are we going to get out of this one? Is it going to be an animation? No, it is just that DeMar DeRozan. So again, that is that slight chance of getting an epic player. But unfortunately, we keep getting those rare players, I think, at the moment over there. But let's open up a center pack and see who we get. It is going to be DeMontis Sabonis over there. We've got a final guard pack to open up. Who are we going to get out of this one? It is just going to be a Shea Gilgis Alexander. So nothing too special out of those ones. This is what I've been opening up at the majority of times. And you can see 15 of those straight away. And we get a good amount of gold, some diamonds and then a decent amount of players who we can sell on the market as well. But it's time to upgrade this James Harden, who is looking very good. We might have to do an all 76ers lineup gameplay as well next, as well as maybe a Warriors one as well, if I can upgrade that Clay Thompson. But he goes up to an 82 overall, which is looking very good. The lineup at the moment is very good indeed. As you can see, 843 total rating, a value of 16 point nine million coins which is absolutely crazy you can see all of the bench players and the starters looking absolutely nuts so let's finally go ahead and open the superstars player pack hopefully we can get someone good who is it going to be we get the animation i think this is going to be that damian lillard who we can actually go ahead and upgrade now seeing as we've got him twice he has 80 overall so let's go ahead and actually upgrade him as you can see we've got two of him so he can go straight away up to rank two over there he's going up to 82 overall which is looking pretty good and we'll take a look at some of his stats as well let's go and take a look he's got 787 speed 832 three pointer which is looking very good but let's actually go ahead into some 3v3 matchups in the triple threat mode to see exactly what this full lakers lineup can do of course ad at 83 overall lebron james at 82 D'Angelo Russell being there at 84 overall. We're going to see who we come up against and straight away we found a match. That is really quick matchmaking. We're coming up against a decent opponent. He's got Lamelo Ball, Kevin Durant and of course that Joel Embiid over there. So a pretty tough opponent but hopefully this Lakers lineup can get it done. Maybe we can try some alley-oops as well although they are fairly tough to actually get right and manage to knock down but you never know. We'll try our best over here. Can we win the tip off though with Anthony Davis? We're going to see if we can against Joel Embiid and we do straight away. They didn't even bother jumping up let's go in with D'Angelo Russell we're going for the alley-oop straight away and Anthony Davis is going to catch that first time and make that one over there which is really really good I'm not actually sure whether the ball actually went in for a second I have to look back on that one as I'm editing it Anthony Davis is in a decent spot but we go for the shot anyway and we're going to knock it down with LeBron James who's absolutely unstoppable in that mid-range shooting position
position. And of course, when he goes up for the dunks, it's absolutely crazy. And AD as well is really good on defense. Whenever I go into 3v3, he goes in, he gets the blocks, he gets the rebound, all of that stuff, making it very good for us. They're going to shoot a really tough three-pointer with Lomelo Ball and manages to make that one. But let's play it back over to LeBron James. Try and get around Kevin Durant if we can. He's getting posted up a little bit. We can pull the shot off though, and he's going to sink that one. Six points already. I don't think we've missed a shot. We'll try and go in for a two points. It's a challenge shot. Just missing that one. LeBron James, unfortunately, we didn't switch it to him quick enough. They take a ridiculous shot over there. At least we get the ball back, though, with D'Angelo Russell. We'll play it over to LeBron James. AD is not in the spot for the alley-oop pass. He is, though, there, and he catches it, and he's going to finish off the alley-oop pass from LeBron James. I've got to see if I can try and get a dunk after that alley-oop pass, but I think that's going to be a little bit tougher to do. We pick up the rebound there with D'Angelo Russell. we got LeBron James running up the court. Let's go in for a dunk if we can. He's going to come through with a windmill dunk to finish off that play all the way from from the rebound with D'Angelo Russell to that lovely windmill dunk. We get a block there with Anthony Davis stopping Lamelo Ball from trying to knock down that three-pointer as he's been doing so far. Let's see if we can get another block. That's what I mean with AD getting absolutely crazy blocks in this game. We get the rebound there with D'Angelo Russell. We got LeBron James running up the court. Can AD catch this alley-oop pass? He is going to just about get there and he's just going to get blocked, unfortunately, by Joel Embiid. That was a little bit of a surprise there. But we have still got the ball back, so let's play it over to Anthony Davis and try and go back in. We're going for the layup and it's a very tough shot and unfortunately just missing that one you got ad there picking up the rebound we got lebron james running up the court no one's there to guard in and he's gonna come through with another dunk off of the assist from ad we'll try and get a little bit of separation there from the metal ball we've got that separation we'll go for an off balance three-pointer and d'angelo russell is gonna finish that one off to end off the game winning 15 to 10 this lakers lineup is absolutely insane we got ad again picking up the alley-oop pass and he's gonna finish that one off off of the assist from D'Angelo Russell. Got LeBron James running up the court. He's wide open. We're going for that two points. It's a poor release on my part. And unfortunately, just missing that one. We got another block there with Anthony Davis. We can't have Derek Rose shooting an easy layup, but they get the ball back. So hopefully we can go ahead and get another block. And we do with Anthony Davis making it two blocks in a row and a third block as well on Chris Stapp Porzingis. This man is on fire. And we get another block there with D'Angelo Russell. He wants in on the action, getting another block for him. We'll dish it out to LeBron James and try and go around Klay Thompson. It's way too easy and he's going to come through with an easy layup over there, putting us up to four points and tying up the game. We got LeBron James with the ball. Can he find AD on the alley-oop? AD's going to get it and he's going to finish off the alley-oop from LeBron James. I think we need some quick baskets. LeBron James is going to come through with an easy dunk to finish off that quick basket over there. We get the steal there with D'Angelo Russell. Is he going to get there ahead of Derek Rose? No. I tried to get the save button in, but unfortunately, we missed time that one. And Chris Porzingis is trying to post up Anthony Davis. Can we get the block on him? He's going to play it over to Derek Rose. And unfortunately, he comes through way too easy for that shot. But we got D'Angelo Russell this time. He's really quick. He gets the acceleration master, and he's going to come through with the easy layup to finish off that play and to tie up the game, making it 10 apiece. Play it over to AD and he's going to hopefully go around Chris that pausing is he's found the space and he's going to come through for the two-handed slam. So we can either go for a two-pointer or a three-pointer. We'll see what we can do. D'Angelo Russell there going round Derek Rose. We've got the space. We're going for the layup, making it a really easy basket for us. And hopefully we can hold on to this lead now and actually get the win. Clay Thompson's going to get the shot off, but we get the block with LeBron James. They're going to keep passing the ball around. We get a block there with D'Angelo Russell to send it out of bounds again. And AD's going to come through again with a block, putting him up to four blocks for the game. But that doesn't help us because they get the ball back straight away. And we get another block there. And that is going to be a shot clock violation for them. So we got a chance here to go ahead and win the game. We got D'Angelo Russell running up. We're going for the alley-oop pass to AD. He's going to catch it. It's not a full alley-oop, but he's going to end off the game with an easy layup. So we got AD there winning MVP. So this Lakers lineup is absolutely insane. Of course, with LeBron and AD, I need to work on those alley-oops a little bit try and get them into a dunk i think maybe we need someone better at dunking such as aaron gordon on the other end of those alley-oops but let me know in the comment section down below if there's any other team matchups you want me to try out i can try and buy the guys on the market or try and pack them as you can see i got the 76ers i got some warriors players as well so let me know what you want to see in the comment section down below but if you want to go check out the insane curry slide in the game go check out the video in the bottom left hand corner we tested it out and it was absolutely insane so go check out that video and i'll see you guys in that one Peace.